If you're worried about coronavirus and what it means for you and your family, this is the video for you. I'm hearing from a lot of parents online and in my practice about coronavirus and a lot of questions and they're really not sure what to do for their family to protect them and make sure that they're doing everything they can to keep their family, their young children, their parents, their relatives, their friends, their family safe. And I hear a lot of worry in my patients. I hear a lot of worry online and I want to do what I can to help, um, help calm the fear, help calm the worry by providing good information. There's a lot of people online talking about coronavirus. I gotta switch hands because my arm is getting tired. There's a lot of people online talking about coronavirus and some of the information is helpful and some of it just adds to the worry and the fear and the fear mongering. And I think that if we can have good knowledge, if we can have good information, then it brings peace and it brings peace to parents and it brings peace to children too when they know that their parents are looking out for them and that they don't have to worry about what's going on with coronavirus. And so that's what this series is really going to be. It's going to be a chance to talk through coronavirus, provide up to the date information about what's going on in our country with coronavirus, and help you have good information that you can make important choices for your family with. Now, what is coronavirus? Let's just start right there. And before I do that, make sure and subscribe to this. Click the button below, click the link below so that you can subscribe so you don't miss an episode and you get the information as it comes out and as I'm able to share it with this audience. Now, what coronavirus is, is it is a respiratory illness that was discovered in late 2019. It did not exist in this November of 2019. And in the past few weeks, it has swept the globe. It started in China. Um, it was discovered right at the end of 2019. And now, March 1st, 2020, there is a lot more coronavirus going around the country. Part of it is because it's something that no one has experienced before, so most people are susceptible. Part of it is that there's not a, vi a, a vaccine to help um, to stop the spread of coronavirus. Part of it is our world just allows for the ease of transportation, that it's really hard to stop people that have colds and flu-like symptoms from traveling, and people can be asymptomatic carriers and spread it. So coronavirus is going around the world right now. It's coming to the United States. There's no way that we're going to stop the spread of it at this point. And it would have been nice if we could have just stopped it like SARS um, a decade and a half ago, but it's coming and it's best to just be prepared and to know what we can do to protect our family. Coronavirus is a respiratory virus, meaning that it infects the respiratory symptom. So runny nose, cough, cold, sore throat, fever, um, and then lungs too. So difficulty breathing, cough, wheeze, all of those sort of things go along with coronavirus as well. Now, there isn't a ton of information out there because it's a brand new 2019 virus, but we know that most people that get the illness do not get severely ill. Over 80% have mild symptoms or are asymptomatic. Because of studying the people that have been exposed and having some of them in quarantine, they've been able to find that you can actually get coronavirus without having any symptoms at all. You can pass it at the same time. So hopefully that helps with a little bit of the worry and fear in that we know that there are people out there that, and, and probably a large portion of people that will get coronavirus without severe symptoms. Those that are elderly, those that are immune compromised or have underlying chronic medical conditions are more predisposed to severe illness. Now, a common question that I hear about is the mortality rate because um, a lot of the information online is that the mortality rate is high. It's higher than influenza. It's 2%. And even though it probably is higher than influenza, most of the new information coming out is that it is not actually 2%. The reason for that is that we have found that a lot of people that get coronavirus have mild enough illness that they don't report to the doctor. They don't have to go to the hospital. They don't end up admitted to the hospital. They have cold and flu symptoms. They have fever, cough, runny nose, sore throat, muscle aches and pains, feeling crummy. It goes away after a few days and they truck through it and go on with their lives. And so a lot of the people aren't being counted. So if we knew about every single case of coronavirus, it is very, very, very likely that the, the mortality rate would be a lot lower. But for the vast majority of people that get it, they don't have 
a um, serious illness, and so they do not report, and so they're not counted. So there's a bias towards increasing the mortality rate, and it's probably artificially elevated. So hopefully that gives you some peace of mind. I'm going to continue to do this series. I'm going to try and put out a video as often as I can, hopefully every day. Today's March 1st. We'll see. Um, I've got a video plan for tomorrow on what to do to prepare your family, what is actually helpful to protect your family, and what just adds to fear, anxiety, and worry. And so if, if this video is helpful, please take a moment, tag somebody, share it, um, text it to a friend that could use the information that's worried, and we'll spread good information so that our families can make safe choices and, and we can have some peace of mind as we go through this. This isn't something that, we, that we've gone through before. And so there's a lot of worry and fear out there. And my hope is that with this video series, it will help to calm the fear so that you can spend time, spend mental, physical, emotional, spiritual energy on what actually is going to make the difference. So please try and keep calm. Please, please wash your hands. Please keep up the good work.